What's going on, fellas? Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. My name's Grizz. We're in Vanguard Zombies, and these are all the working glitches in Update 1.15 for Season 2 Reloaded. Now, Treyarch closed out 17 previous glitches that were in the collection, so this update, we took a huge blow to the nuts, boys. The good news is, I spent all day testing both Durian Fang and Terra Mail Dicta to find four working glitches that are left, so we'll be going over that in today's research. Be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series, and drop a like on this video, and activate that bell icon if you want to level up fast in zombies. And if you can, comment down below what's your current level in Vanguard Zombies. I'm currently Prestige 13, level 304, and still grinding. And over in that Season 2 Battle Pass, I'm currently Tier 100. So let me know where you're at. Okay, the first glitch is the Stalingrad glitch on the map Duran Fang. Now next to the build table, jump on the low barrier and sprint up onto the sandbags to get into the glitch. If you're not aware, Stalingrad was added into the map arena rotation when the objectives change each round. The zombies do chuck meat at you, but the canopy in front of you does block a lot of the incoming damage. As you can see, I'm killing zombies before the portal opens. This one here is really good to chill during an exfil round, so maybe you'll find another use for it. I don't know. This is what I like it for is exfils. The next glitch is the apartment's one spawn glitch on the transmit objective. So when you guide the transmitter up to the second platform of the stairs, sprint past it to the top floor so the transmitter stays on the second platform. You'll need to be on the top floor since the spawn point changed since the last update. It was downstairs and it moved up to here. So back up into the corner and you'll be in a really good position while the zombies keep spawning. This is the best working glitch currently and all you're really looking for is the transmit objective in the apartments and you're golden man. This is the best one if you're trying to unlock camos. Real quick. Two new covenants were added with this update. One's called Explosives Expert, and the other's called Critical Expertise. They're both pretty good, I kinda like them. Another thing was two new weapons were added. One is an SMG called the Almer Gurath 43. Uh, it has a weapon challenge, so you can unlock it. And the other one is called Skull Crusher. And this one here does not have a weapon challenge attached to it, so I, I don't even know how you unlock this one. And it would appear that Rebirth Island and Warzone will get its own event called Rebirth Reinforced. The Call of Duty blog says that operators can complete participation challenges to earn new cosmetic items, such as the legendary Toxic Heavy LMG Blueprint for completing all challenges. Now that's all the blog tells us, so hopefully there'll be a way to earn this in Vanguard as well. Next up is the Corrupted Lands Transmit Glitch. This one here is really fun to do if you can get it right away. Now once you spawn in, wait for the transmitter to become solid, and then just jump on top of it. That's all there is to this glitch. You want to make sure that you're you're kind of on top of it and not going to fall off right away, but once you get going and you know you're on it, then you're on it. So that's what you're looking for. Um, if you are on it correctly, the transmitter will let you stay on it as long as you don't bump into a zombie. You know, it's going to be traveling along while it's escorting, so you need to look in front of you and shoot the zombies. Now, I've traveled the entire escort before when I wasn't recording, so I do know it's possible. Let me know how far you make it, but pay attention to the zombies in front of you. You need to shoot them so they don't just knock you right off the transmitter, but this one's really fun. And the fourth glitch that we'll be adding into the collection today is the wood pole glitch. This one's out here by Quick Revive. And very simple, you can do this on any objective as long as you're in this area and you're just jumping off the sandbags on top of this wood pole. And once you're on top, the zombies will kind of stand in place and chuck meat at you. So this one is good if you just need a breather and you're out here and you're getting chased by a lot of zombies, maybe you're taking a lot of damage, hop up here, like three seconds at least, um, of chill time, and then you can just hop back off. Um, if you need a heal or anything, just a good little side trick. Might be useful to you, I don't know. Use it as you will. Now, Treyarch did kind of skip out on the Shamrock and Awe event. I mean, we just had St. Patrick's Day and there was nothing going on for zombies. We kind of just slept right through that one. 
But we'll see how this rebirth reinforced event goes. What we know for sure is that this weekend we have a max double XP event happening from March 25th through the 28th. That's going to be awesome. So level up your weapons. But that's going to do it for this video, fellas. That is all the working glitches as of update 1.15. Four working glitches we added into the collection. Treyarch did Cheeto chop us right in the nuts, taking down 17 glitches in this update. So kind of a big deal. Be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series. I'll keep you updated, fellas. And activate that bell notification, man. If you want to level up fast in zombies. See you next time, fellas. Violent out.